A big part of my research in the last five years has been about the effect of transportation and transportation infrastructures on cities. So government, only to maintain the U.S. interstate wheel system, will spend 2% of U.S. GDP every year just for that, not counting new roads being built, new well, other pieces of infrastructure. So we spend enormous amounts of money on transportation, and we need to know whether those resources are well allocated or not. So in my research, I think about how prices and product availability varies across space, so across different cities and different countries. If you're trying to think about welfare and measuring, uh, um, for example, real income inequality, then uh, you need a cost of living index that accounts for the fact that high income consumers might face different costs to low income consumers. Um, in particular, I look at the high stakes context of entrepreneurship and uh, investment decisions that angel investors make. I study um, the influence of an investor's gut feel on these investment decisions and how their gut feel might compensate for or even trump the hard data that they um, receive. I'm interested in evaluating such um, policy, environmental policies and practices and see what the effect is on the environment, but also on firms' profits, and see if I can come up with policy recommendations to make those policies more effective. So in particular, I'm focusing on news media and how the news media becomes biased as a result of firms' desires to reach out to a broader audience and to maximize revenues through advertising or through subscription forces. In addition to that, I look at this interplay between consumers and firms and how the consumer actions, the activity of creating content actively in online spaces, changes this extent of bias in the new space. I study the incentives that lead industries to turn out the way they do. So some industries have a lot of firms, some have few. Uh, some are very profitable, some are not. Uh, and sometimes you see vertical integration and some others you don't. So I study why uh, industries turn out the way they do and what impact that has for both firms and consumers. So I'm a development economist and one of my areas of focus is thinking about how um, property rights affects the economic decisions and economic outcomes of individuals in developing countries. My research aims at kind of helping us understand what kind of reforms uh, can be done, you know, what kind of changes in public policy can, can help address you know, the, these barriers to, to helping people access the value associated with their housing and with their land. So I'm, I'm an economist in the field of industrial organization. Okay, and, and what that means is that I'm studying how market works, so real markets, how firms meet consumers, whether differentiation matters and information matters for that. Uh, you want to make sure that markets operate well, which means that prices are low, consumers are matched with the right product, and firms compete fairly. The primary focus of my research is on competition in healthcare markets, particularly on the effects of organizational features and regulation on that competition. So in one study, I look at the effect of physician ownership on provider behavior and uh, patient outcomes in cardiac hospitals. So I'm uh, interested in market microstructure, which uh, is essentially looking at uh, the very fine details of how markets work, how financial markets work. There have been a lot of changes in, in these market systems uh, over the past years. Uh, uh, today it's estimated that as much as 50% of the daily traded volume in stocks is actually done by computer algorithms, uh, high frequency trading firms. So my research uh, deals with how firms and individuals should uh, interact or should behave uh, in this new market environment. What market design does is take an engineering approach to economics. So we use economic theory, experiments, and algorithms to try to design good market rules and increase the size of the economic pie. Now, if you look at some of these completely new markets, some of them generate a lot of revenues. So for example, search advertising on the internet generates over $20 billion per year. And these revenues would be much smaller if not for the cutting edge algorithms and the good market design that's used to sell those advertisings. My research tracks decision-making in complex systems. Specifically, I seek to understand how we can make the outcomes of these systems 
whether they produce financial securities, heart surgery, or nuclear power, safer for the society we live in. By taking a historical perspective, I'm able to shed light on how the decisions made in the course of these systems' evolution can benefit or hurt the society. Uh, so I basically study matchmaking, which uh, might not seem like something that a business school professor should study, but it turns out to uh, be kind of a big deal in a lot of uh, kind of big markets. So in uh, many big cities, there are a lot of schools, some are good, some are bad, there are a lot of students. And the way it generally works is that the students rank the schools and we have to figure out a way to assign them. Uh, this is a matching system, and without a matching system, sometimes things don't work out as well as you would like. While economies of scope, or synergy, have been scrutinized by scholars, how managers derive value from resource redeployment is much less understood. My research centers on this second benefit of corporate diversification to enhance existing understanding of sources of corporate value.